Okay, so 250 volts per meter. We, we can write actually the sort of opposite relationship here. We can say that if we know the delta V is the dot product, then uh, you can also say that the electric field, uh, at least the magnitude, well, let's write it this way. The electric field is going to be negative of delta V. So I should do it this way. If you have a, if you know the field lies along some direction, then you can find the electric field by taking the potential difference dividing by the path along that direction. Okay, so we're just using the opposite relationship here. We don't care about the sign, so we're just saying that the electric field in this particular case, the magnitude is just delta v over the magnitude of delta l. Okay. Okay, so that gives you 500 divided by 2 meters is 250. And the unit, note the units here. Uh, because we can do this, we get units of volts per meter. It's the exactly equivalent to a, a unit of a newton per coulomb. So uh, we've been writing electric field in units of newtons per coulomb, but we're going to probably start seeing them in volts per meter. It's the exact same thing. One volt per meter is one newton per coulomb. 